Hi, welcome to tutorial 2 under the section titled Financial Mathematics. Today's tutorial is titled Using the Timeline. This is a very short tutorial and I've only included it to get you more familiar with using timelines in your financial maths calculations. In terms of what you need to know, you need to be familiar with the first tutorial titled Basic Financial Maths. I'd also recommend you go through the section we've included called Converting Words to Numbers. Let us begin by taking a look at a basic definition of what a timeline is and progress from there. A timeline is merely a graphical depiction of events occurring over a specified time period. The reason we use a timeline is to take a complex financial problem and break it down into its individual time components and solve each of those individual time components on their own. Let us look at an example to illustrate. Batman is saving towards a new Batmobile. He estimates that it will cost 2 million rand in 5 years time. The best investment available to him pays out 17% per annum compounded twice a year. He invests 100,000 rand now, 500,000 rand in a year's time and 400,000 rand in two years time. Will he be able to afford the new Batmobile at the end of five years? What we're going to do is we're going to look through two different techniques of using the timeline and let us see what the amount will be at the end of five years and whether he will be able to afford it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by taking the information from the question and I'm going to put it onto a timeline. A hundred thousand rand is what he pays now. Five hundred thousand rand is what he puts into the savings after one year. 400,000 Rand is what he puts in after two years. At three years he puts nothing. At four years he puts nothing. And at five years is when he wants to draw the money to be able to buy the new Batmobile. The first technique I'm going to use is I'm going to take each separate amount and we're going to work out its future value at the end of five years and then add all of those three values together. The formula we're going to use is future value is equals to present value open bracket 1 plus interest over m number of compounds per year close bracket to the power nm which is number of years times by the amount of compounds. So let us start with 100,000 Rand. It will be 100,000 Rand open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 close bracket to the power 5 times 2 which gives us an answer of 226,000 Rand and 98 and 34 cents. That is the future value of the 100,000 Rand that he invested today. Of the 500,000 Rand amount which he invests in a year's time, it will be 500,000 Rand open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 close bracket to the power 4 times 2 which gives us an answer of 960,302 Rand and 17 cents. In two years he invests 400,000 Rand so that will be 400,000 Rand open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 to the power 3 times 2 which gives us an answer of 652,587 Rand. Add those three figures together that gives me an answer of 1,838,987 Rand and 51 cents. So he's still going to be about 160,000 Rand short. Let us look at the second technique also using the timeline of deriving that final answer. We're going to look at the future value of the 100,000 Rand that he invested now. We're going to look at its future value 
in a year's time when he invests the 500,000 rand. That will be 100,000 rand open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 to the power 1 times 2 which gives me an answer of 117,722 rand and 50 cents. Add that to the 500,000 rand he invests in a year's time which gives me 617,722 rand and 50 cents. That amount we're going to invest over another year to the point where he invests the 400,000. So that's going to become 617,722 rand and 50 cents open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 close bracket to the power 1 times 2 because it's only over a year which gives me an answer of 727,198 rand and 37 cents. To that he adds 400,000 which gives me an amount of 1,127,000 198 rand and 37 cents. That amount is going to be invested for three years. The reason that is is because between the second year from now and five years from now he does not add or subtract anything from his investment so we just work it out over a three year period. So that will be 1,127,000 198.37 cents open bracket 1 plus 0.17 over 2 close bracket to the power 3 times 2 which gives me an answer 1,838,987 rand and 51 cents same answer as the first method it's a slightly different technique you can choose to use either um, and it also gave us an answer that he is short by about 160,000 rand. So timelines are not nearly as difficult as they sound. All it is is taking complex financial information and breaking it down into smaller segments and working it out from there. Please ensure that you are able to master this section before progressing on with the next tutorial titled Annuities and Loan Repayments. I have left an exercise in the workbook for you to do. Please have a go at it.